Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I come to wish you a good day, to send greetings. I hope you're having a good day. For it, It's been very challenging for me. I, like, I was tied up. I'm curious to know if, how your sleep patterns are because it's very agitated for me right now. Well, sometimes it's, it's one day out of two, it's agitated, and another day it's quiet. They cannot give me a break. But last night I was, I was, I was rolled on by, it was, I couldn't sleep because of a karmic relation with this, this person I have. And it's like a very, very difficult and challenging. But, uh, and at the seven in the morning, it's like uh, the, the cats just started to make things. So I just couldn't sleep. I'm going to try to take a nap for it is, it is important to rest right now. And I, and the eclipse just gave me like a very, very severe, uh, hit of the moon, huh? I got a really hit of the moon, it's like somebody di dig the hole and within the hole they dig another hole and within that hole they dig another hole and they threw me in it. It took me about 45 minutes to climb out, like, to climb out of that, but but I, I, do, I do feel there is a great deal of change, a positive change, wonderful change that are coming. They're announcing me a big, big, big shift and, uh, and, and two weeks of transition. So, so we'll see what happens. For, for it's, like we, it's very important that we, we move from duality to unipolarity, to erase all of the matrix duality program, to move into this unipolarity, this one, one life, one, one energy. Understand God is at the beginning and at the end of every circle, every cycle, every, actually is everywhere, but that's where we find him. We find him within the love of the unity of consciousness. And, um, and we're going to be returning to God's money. God's money is gold, it's silver, it is platinum, it is precious metal, it is gold money. We, there is a whole transformation that is uh, going on. But, uh, but we do need to erase those programs forever because this law of, uh, this law of, um, this, this, polarity principle, this like matrix of the snake, there is the law of, of opposite. Whatever we ask, the law of attraction will bring us the opposite, always. It's like un until we were like, we completely integrated the opposite. It's like, so it's very delicate to attract what we need because we, we're always getting the opposite of it. And so, uh, so it is very important to erase that and to be to, to install the unipolarity program. That's what I've been working on. And I thank you so very much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and for your donations. If you want a private session, you can send me an email. It is it is important also to understand that all our mistakes, all our errors, or all, all of those things are creating really good stories, and we're learning very important lessons. So do not blame yourself for that. Right now, we, we are forced to transcend all our limitation, our judgment, our criticism upon ourselves and upon the world. Otherwise, we'll never make it out. Huh? There is without unconditional love and unconditional forgiveness on ourselves and others. We'll remain locked within the dualistic cycle and, 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 and circle. But, but there is a, so it's about learning to see with the eyes of love, the pink glasses huh? and... Um, and, and, and so it is very important uh, to, because uh, the, there's so many things that are going to be coming up uh, when the, the, this matrix, the, this dark matrix of the snake, for the, it's like the, the, the poison apple uh, that's like been poisoning the whole world for like millenniums. It's like, uh, it's going to stink. It's really going to stink. Uh, it's like, because the nose knows. Uh, it's like, um, I don't know if you've ever been in touch with people that are in touch with demons. It stinks. And, and the people that are in touch with angels, they smell good. It's not a matter of physical odors. It's, it's just a, the energy, the, the energies have, have a smell. So follow your nose. Huh? But it's going to stink a lot. Huh? So, so just be prepared for that. <clears throat> the card of the day is breathing. Slowing down, breathing, taking it easy. It's very important to, to remove all the toxins from our body. It is a challenge, but it is, it is really the most exciting things and the most service we can do to humanity and the planet right now is to detoxify our, our physical body. And so, uh, uh, and letting go of the blame, the shame, the guilt, the trauma, the wounds, the doubts, to, to apply unconditional forgiveness, to return to the, the to, to, to bring, bring it all back to, to the Creator. Just give it to the Creator. He will, he will show, he will show us the way. Because energy comes from the center, and they build, and they build, and they build, and then they expand, and then we just got to deal with the expansion, and then we return to center, and then there is a new wave of energy. It's just the way it is. It's like uh, we cannot stop the expansion of the universe. But um, <clears throat> so, so this this, uh, this this dark shadow matrix of the serpent is really coming to an end. Um, 
Because whatever is not of God cannot last forever. And, and this matrix, all that the, the lies and the manipulation and the, the untruth is not part of God. So it cannot last forever. Only truth, beauty, goodness uh, is of God. And so the, that will stay. That is supported by eternal laws. The other things is just a temporal illusion that was created to enslave humanity. But we're now we're free. We, we, we're assuming our sovereign rights. <clears throat> And so, uh, so the toxin, the, the toxin we carry, will the more we are able to remove it, the more we'll assist the collective ascension. Huh? And the less we resonate with this dark matrix of the of the of the snake, the easier it will be to tune in to the unipolar reality of God of love. Huh? So it's like we were really working on it. So we just it's like a dance. Huh? Sometimes we we we, we got to trust our higher self to guide the process as much as possible. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to make a little short hello before I take a nap. I need to sleep a little bit. Um, but I'm ready to move forward. It's like the observer of the day is the war and the battle. We're going to need to put an end to all wars and battles. But the first war we can, add, we can actually make peace with is the war that we have going on within. Our ego needs to surround all to God. Let go of all the, the ego thing. It's like uh, it's no longer serving us to have this uh, this like uh, little mind that wants to fight uh, fight the world that it's no longer appropriate the highest wisdom is a celtic to connect to the energies of nature i had so many encounters last night it was like first it was a tiger a beautiful tiger and then it was all kind of spirit energies of nature they all came to see me for a long time i used to have like a wonderful spiritual experiences at night but now it's like I have like one and then another one and then another one. It's like universe after universe after it. It's like it, it's sometimes it's like um, so overwhelming, but so wonderful too to feel this raw connection to this multidimensional uh, matrix of, of, of unity and love. For everybody's curious, they all come to greet you once you once you're ready. You open up to that level. It's like you have all kinds of spirit that wants to come and say hello. But you, first we need to let go of all the fear, the doubts, the the. Uh, what we need to understand is the opposition, the, the men and women, the turning their back. Huh? There is still a great deal uh, for me. I still have to deal on, uh, with that, on this, with this karmic relationship I'm dealing with. It's like, in one hand, I feel like it's really, uh, it's, it's really something that's really just a karma. And on the other hand, I feel it could be a lifelong relationship. But it's very delicate. Sometimes I just got to let it go. And it's like very difficult. Um, but it's part of the process and I have other relationships that are also aligning and all kinds of, so I'm taking care of my business, it's more important for me. What, what needs to be understood is to control the, the, the anger and alimentation, the, the ego body of desire, and not to, not to seek instant gratification. The best thing takes time. For when you're young, you're seeking instant gratification, but when you, you mature a little bit, you realize that uh, what you really want, you won't get in like clicking on a button and it's like takes time and the outcome is trust and faith so it's like just continue to trust have faith and then once once we'll uh, let's address what this card about understanding the 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 opposing that it's part of the the dualistic principle the, that men and women are not they're not supposed to be uh they're supposed to face each other, not to be back to back and so the, there is atlantis atlantis was matriarchal civilization that was a uh, Maybe those maybe those memories come from the time of Atlantis. Maybe those karma we have, or maybe we have to deal with certain things from past lives, and we don't know because when we have a solid bond with someone you've never met, it's because there is a deep connection that was there from before. In my case, we've never met physically with this person, but as soon as we started talking, it's like it became something like whoa! <laughs> it's very very strange, but there was some good doing some good as well, and sometimes I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm being a bit severe about in relationship to, 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 to what I've been experiencing, but it's like, uh, but um, we'll see. Time will tell. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I hope you, you're traversing this, uh, this eclipse time. It's between the eclipse. It's very transforming time, uh, very powerful. And I'm going to finish with a song. It's an easy song to sing. It's, um, it's from the Beatles. It's called All My Loving. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you, tomorrow I'll miss you, remember I'll always be true, and then while I'm away, I'll write home every day, and I'll send all my loving to you. 
I'll pretend that I'm kissing the lips I am missing, and I hope that my dreams will come true. And then while I'm away, I'll write home every day, and I'll send all my loving to you. All my loving I will send to you. All my loving, darling, I'll be true. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. Remember I'll always be true. And then while I'm away, I'll write home every day. And I'll send all my loving to you. All my loving I will send to you. All my loving, darling, I'll be true. All my loving, whoa, 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 all my loving, darling, I'll be true. I will send to you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all my loving, I will send to you. For, for it's like exchange of love is really the most, uh, is something really powerful, very important. But we're depending on, on the depth of connection for that. Huh? So, so we want to continue to cultivate those sense of connection to our soul, to our spirit. But we are beautiful souls. There is a, well, not all the souls are, but well, all the souls are beautiful. They're not on the same level. There are some souls that I personally appreciate more than others. But in truth, there is only one soul. It is the soul of God, and um, and we're part of that. And it is the most powerful force in, in on the earth. And it is really what conducts all the creative evolution process. Is the soul, the et our eternal self. The the observer of the day is the ripe fruit. Huh? It's like the fruits are ripe. The highest wisdom is patience. We need to be able to be patient, to be relaxed, to enjoy the now, to enjoy the... We, we, or find things to be grateful for. There is so many things, at least uh, for people to forgive and for things to... to um, and for things to, to be grateful for. What we need to understand is silence is the star. It is, uh, it, is the, it is the dream that comes true. What we need to do is... the to release the past, it's hanging on to the past. The past, the past. We have we all have a past. The past has to be integrated and transcended, and the outcome will be stress. As long as we we hold on to the past, we're, we're going to feel stress. As we we let go of the past, we we integrate our past. Then let's see. Then then we are able to walk. We are alone, but we feel, we are able to walk our journey. Huh? We are able to enlighten the past. Huh? So it's like uh, to return to unipolarity means to surround all the matrix. So that means to be alone with God, with Source. And so so for a little time, it is very important to give yourself the time just by yourself to integrate that and just can communicate with nature and all that. It's it really helps as well for sure. Whatever feels right. Um, I thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Salut.